Sunset tonight at 7:35. Wait, I want to show you this twit pack. It's gorgeous. So this is from David Mora, and those flowers are morning glories. It was in the morning, and there's old glory. So it was just a kind of cool shot. So morning glory. Here is a look at what's happening right now. A little bit more cloudiness to the west. It's not much. It's a beautiful evening, and then we can look to the west. And what we have is a cold front over here. It's going to be pushing to the southeast, moving through Thursday morning, giving us rain chances then with a slight risk for severe over southwest Mississippi. Meanwhile, this area of low pressure has just been wreaking havoc along the mid-Atlantic coast. Remember, it was over here in Charleston, caused all of those flood warnings. Now it's along the coast of North Carolina. And look at all of that rain that's moving on shore all the way from North Carolina into New York and also into Boston. So a mess if you're traveling. Meanwhile, we've got some high level moisture beginning to move in. Otherwise, it's a great evening. You can look to the west. Here's the next cold front pushing to the southeast and tomorrow it's going to give an enhanced risk to severe storms over Arkansas into Missouri and actually into the northern portion of Louisiana. But closer to home, marginal risk for the North Shore into the river parishes, slight risk for southwest Mississippi. So what's the timing? Well, it really looks like the timing is going to be more early Thursday. So for overnight, I'm not expecting rain into tomorrow. You may have a little bit of mist and some patchy fog, which will burn off quickly through the day. Don't see big rain chances. And of course, tomorrow it's Wednesday at the square. Here we are six o'clock seeing a little bit more cloudiness. And then as you go into the evening, the potential for some rain to develop. But I think Wednesday at the square, fingers crossed, it'll be OK. It's Thursday morning that we're seeing this higher rain chance with the potential for storms to develop. It's going to move through quickly. Look, this is 7 o'clock. You're looking great on the South Shore. We're watching that because, of course, the Zurich Classic. So the weather cooperating for your Thursday. Here's the big picture with that southerly flow. Here comes the cold front moving our way tomorrow. Looks fine. High temperatures, mid 80s. Going into Thursday, there's the front moving through. You've got sunshine. It's looking like a nice day. High temperatures, mid 80s. Then we're coming kind of getting this front moving back to the north. That southerly flow is really increasing. So for Friday, we're in the upper 80s and the wind is really blowing. That may be a factor for the Zurich Classic. Here we are looking at Sunday. Sunday is the time period I'm most concerned with. That's when we've got the potential for locally heavy rain and about a 15% risk for severe storms, which is kind of high as you look out in the distance. But we're seeing that potential for rain for some stronger storms to develop and linger as you go through Sunday. Then it begins to move to the east. So again, that locally heavy rainfall potential. The high 79, very close to the average of 80. And uh, Dealing with allergies, moderate for grass, also for trees. So just be aware of that. Temperatures right now, upper 70s to near 80 degrees. A great evening, not cooling off very quickly. With your morning lows in the low to the mid 60s and your highs tomorrow, more in the mid 80s. Looking at your Thursday, that wind is beginning to increase and high temperatures, mid 80s. For Friday, the wind is really blowing south at 15 to 25. Windy for your Saturday, Sunday, very windy, wind gust of over 30 miles per hour and the real potential for strong storms.